As you come out, there's a very steep hill into that four-way intersection. Um, make sure that you, there's a sign that says slow. Make sure you take it nice and slow. And these are very, very technical trails. If you are inexperienced at this, please do not get right out there and think you can do it, you'll be fine. Lunch is 11 to two. The trails will stay open during lunch. Trails close at four o'clock. So if you guys wanna start going to vehicles, you can queue up at that pylon over there where Tina will be and uh, we'll be good. Hi, I'm Aaron Gold. I'm the president of the Motor Press Guild and we are at Calamigos Ranch in Malibu, California for 2013 Trail Day. We got a good variety of pickup trucks and SUVs and crossovers. We're hitting some really, really highly technical trails. Everybody's having a really good time and we're seeing what these vehicles can do. In terms of difficulty, this is, pre this is pretty intense stuff. The trails are low speed, but we got some areas that require a lot of ground clearance. We've got some very technical descents. We have some extremely tight turns. So actually, our trails here are deceptively difficult. This is not just, you know, driving through some dirt rutted roads and pretending you're off-roading. This is serious off-road driving. I've gotten really good feedback from the OEs. I think even some of the OEs are surprised at how well their vehicles are, are doing out here. Uh, and they're really impressed by the chance to kind of push their own vehicles to the limits and see what they can do, and to demonstrate how far the vehicles can go off-road. Today we have three trail loops. They vary from easy to difficult slash technical. Um, at, at Moab, this would be four out of 10. Uh, for these vehicles, this is nine out of 10. My name is Amanda Saverkul. I work in public relations for Mitsubishi Motors of North America. Well, as you can see, the car's been out quite a bit. Not a lot of downtime because everyone wants to check out the super all-wheel control that Mitsubishi is quite famous for. Out here on the off-road, though, um, they, everybody gets the new 2014 Mitsubishi Outlander. That's the car I brought today. Super all-wheel control and also it's all new, actually, for 2014. So this is the first time a lot of the media in this area are getting to drive the car. Really excited to be out here at the MPG event. Um, this is a very technical off-road course, one of the best off-road courses I've seen. I was really excited to bring the Outlander out here, especially new and with that super all-wheel control. Did great, and um, everybody had a lot of fun. Let me know when he's back, and we'll open the trails once he's back. Hi, we're here at the 2013 MPG Trail Days event, and uh, I'm with Honda, and we brought the 2013 Honda Pilot, and it's the touring four-wheel drive uh, level of the Pilot. It's the most fuel-efficient eight-passenger SUV in America, so it's a family vehicle, has a rear entertainment system, a navigation system, and also is quite capable off-road. Uh, while most of our owners will not do anything this extreme, it's a good opportunity for the journalists to sample it on the extreme end to understand how good it would really be in the average situation. You know, I think Trail Day is uh, one of the two or three best days of the year for Motor Press Guild members. Uh, the other one would be Track Day and, of course, Press Days at the LA Auto Show. On those three events, uh, if you're not showing up, you ought to be. Trail Day gives you an opportunity to drive a variety of vehicles with off-road capabilities over the same trails all on the same day. You might have a chance to go off-road, but usually only one vehicle, maybe two, but here you can get behind the wheel of a wide variety of them, some trucks, some sport utility vehicles, and try them all in one day. It's an opportunity you really won't find anywhere else. Hi, this is John Grafman from LA Car here at the Motor Press Guild Trail Day event in beautiful Malibu. It's a gorgeous day out here. The fires haven't burned up the area. The trails are a little dry and dusty, but it's all good fun out here. We've got some amazing vehicles, some very expensive vehicles at that, and we've managed to keep them in one piece. And let me tell you, that's a challenge out here because some of these trails do get a little steep and a little little dangerous, but it's all good fun. It was very interesting trying the Jeeps out here in comparison with the other vehicles. As we all know, the Jeeps have quite a quite a history with off-roading. So looking at those as benchmarks and comparing the other vehicles, it is very interesting to see all the different systems and the different wheelbases of all the vehicles here and how they perform in these conditions. Hi, my name is Dan Pass. I'm the Senior Manager of Product Public Relations for Nissan and it's an incredible day that we're having here at MPG Trail Day. It's so much fun to spend time with journalists and really show them what our vehicles can do in such a challenging environment. Uh, we brought three vehicles today, all in our Pro 4X lineup, which is our top of the line uh, off-road trim. We have the Titan Pro 4X, the Xterra, and Frontier. All four-wheel drive, all very rugged. Scott Brown with, uh, with Chrysler Group LLC. Um, I brought uh, some fun products out today. We've got a two-door Wrangler, I've got a Grand Cherokee, and I've got a Ram Outdoorsman. MPG Trail Day, great opportunity. You know, I like to think um, it's kind of like going to the zoo, right? 
you need to see vehicles in a natural environment. And, and if you're going to test a Jeep, you need to do way more than just drive it on the street. This event gives people the perfect opportunity to experience at least the two-dimensional aspect of a, of a Jeep product, which is, yeah, they're great on-road, they're safe, they're fuel efficient. They'll, they'll do what you need to do on road very comfortably, but there's a second dimension that some people don't get the opportunity to test and to experience, and that's the off-road capability. We absolutely have to, and we do engineer off-road capability into our vehicles, and this is a perfect opportunity. Low range, great articulation, um, great traction capability, you know, approach angles, departure angles, and so a lot of fun to come out here, see some vehicles struggling, and the Wrangler and the Grand Cherokee will just walk right through stuff. So, um, great, great fun. The feedback I'm getting from the journalists is that they're they're learning a lot, especially the people who focus on cars and don't get the opportunity to do this very well, often. Well, there's two things that apply to track driving that also apply to four-wheeling. Okay. One, you look where you want to go, not where the vehicle's pointed. Right. And second, smooth inputs are much better than jerky inputs. They seem to be appreciative of the instructive aspect and the fact that the course is controlled, but it's still difficult enough to make you work. You can use the gas to go faster, or you can upshift. The core part of a PR person is, is, is interaction with media. This is a perfect opportunity for us one-on-one -on -one to engage them, show them our product, show them how we're excited about our, our product, get to know them better, and hopefully you know, give them an opportunity that they wouldn't be able to replicate on their own. You know? So yeah, it's a great opportunity to bring the manufacturers and the media together, and I love it. Here we are at the end of Trail Day 2013 up on the summit at beautiful Calamigos Ranch. It's been a fantastic day. We've had all sorts of vehicles. We got them nice and dirty. We got small crossovers, big pickups, and we drove them on some really challenging trails. And I think we were able to demonstrate to a lot of the journalists and actually some of the automakers as well just how far these vehicles can go off-road. It's been a very good day.